I've been in this field of computational engineering, computational science, for almost 35 years. And I've very often been the only woman, or only one of very few. Um, and I'm fine with it, you know, I'm, I have fun, I feel comfortable, but I do recognize how hard it can be to be different. So when you're the only woman in a male-dominated field, you're always different. You, know, you feel that people pay more attention to you, that you're scrutinized more. There is some unconscious bias still. You know, and I see a lot of women, as a result of that, being discouraged to stay. We started because of a need we saw uh, to highlight women in the field of data science. Uh, unfortunately, in computational engineering, computer science, data science, statistics, there's still very few women. You know, when I was 18, a long time ago, <laughs> there were maybe 15% women in this field, and I thought by the time I was old, which I'm now, according to my 18-year-old self, <laughs> everything would be a lot better, and the percentage would be much higher. And it's not. And so many of the women that aspire uh, to be computer scientists, to be data scientists, uh, are not encouraged by the, the lack of women in the field. And when they go to conferences, they often don't see many either. They're not highlighted uh, all that much, and you may have one or two speakers. So we thought by organizing a conference where all the speakers are female, and they're all excellent female scientists and engineers, and data scientists, uh, it would really help inspire the younger generation to go up and stay in the field and see that as a woman, even though it's a male-dominated field, you can really be very successful and contribute very strongly. So this is what happened with WIDS. It's a technical conference where we highlight excellent, excellent research and work in the field. And it just so happens all the speakers are women. We're hoping that it will help young women, especially stay in the field, and of course also more senior women like myself uh, you know, really, really enjoy this, to see female colleagues uh, do well. Why is it important for women to be in data science? Is because more and more decisions in the world are being driven by data. Right? The, these are decisions, management decisions, political decisions, industrial decisions, commercial decisions, what have you. They're made based on data analysis, more and more. And uh, that means that as a data scientist, when you're working in a team, when you're doing data analysis, when you're interpreting the data, when you're uh, finding patterns in the data, when you're doing machine learning, you try to make predictions in the future based on that data, you're really influential. Those data science teams are really influential. And yet when you look at the composition of these data science teams, no, it's, most of them are men, most of them are white or Asian, there's very little diversity. And then you may say, but who cares? You know, these are scientists that look at the data very analytically. Bias doesn't come in. Who cares where they come from? But, but that's wrong. You no, know, data is very malleable. You know, so you can see in data uh, often what you're looking for. In other words, bias can creep in really, really quickly. Um, it's very clear that more diverse teams ask different questions. They probe data in a different way, and they come to different conclusions. So when I think about a world where uh, data science scientists have a lot of impact and a lot of influence, I would really like the teams, these data scientists, to be much more diverse and to have a representation that is more in line with the way the world is. And 50% of the world is women. So having more women in these teams is just a, a, a logical thing. So that's one reason. The other reason is the talent question. There's just so much talent amongst these women. And why would you, as a company, as a nation, as an ac academic institution, why would you not try to tap into the talent pool and be happy leaving that on the side? Saying, okay, fine, we only have 10%, 15% women, that's all right, we still have lots of talent. There is tremendous talent that we're leaving by the wayside if we don't try to pull them in. So the more I can do about this by being a role model, by showing that women can be successful, the better. Um, and it's one of my life goals.